or are you having a high AST with normal ALT? My name is Dr. Taranella, and if you don't know, those are typically referred to as liver enzymes. And in this video, we're going to look at the question of what's going on in people that have high AST with normal ALT. Again, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I want you to know that I make these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health. Like in situations like this, when you have a high AST and normal ALT, what does it mean? What could be going on in your body? I want to help take you beyond the basics of your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, hormones, abnormal labs, and overall optimization of your health, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaim, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as treatment for any medical condition or a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's check out this video on high AST with normal ALT. So in this video, we're going to look at what is going on in people with high AST and normal ALT. AST, as you may or may not know, is aspartate aminotransferase and ALT is alanine aminotransferase. These are both liver enzymes that are commonly measured in blood tests when you want to evaluate your liver function. When there's liver damage or injury from a toxin or even drinking too much alcohol, these enzymes are released into the bloodstream from that damaged cell that opens up, bursts open, and it leads to higher than normal or elevated liver enzyme values. In the case of high AST levels with normal ALT levels, it's important to note that AST is not exclusively found in the liver. It's also found in other tissues like kidney, heart, and muscle. So high AST levels in the presence of normal ALT levels, depending on how low or normal that ALT is, could be indicating a problem more with other tissues and not the liver itself. And it's not always necessarily a problem either. There are several possible reasons for high AST with normal ALT. The first most common and most likely is from muscle damage or increased exercise that can result in muscle damage. So every time we exercise, we're damaging our muscles to some degree, depending on how intense it is, you may get more or less of that muscle damage. And that can result in those muscle cells bursting open and spilling out some of the AST enzyme into the bloodstream. And you look at your blood tests, it has elevations in AST. So if you have really high AST levels and your ALT is pretty much normal, less than 25, then this is most likely the problem. But of course, there are other problems like, again, kidney issues and heart issues that can also cause this. More than likely, if you're having those problems, you're going to see other problems related to those specific organs. Maybe you have high creatinine or other indicators of a kidney issue, and maybe you have other elevated enzymes indicating a heart issue. No one test is going to give you 100% accuracy onto what's going on, but at least this gives you a general idea. Second possibility is from the liver itself actually causing issue because these enzymes are found in the liver. Alcohol use is probably one of the more common reasons that can lead to liver damage and result in elevation in AST. However, elevations in AST that are a result of consuming alcohol are usually going to be accompanied by a corresponding ALT and even GGT elevation. So in short, if you have high AST with normal ALT, this could be simply just from exercising too much. I wouldn't assume that unless the timeline definitely matches and you don't have any corresponding reason to think that there's something going on with your liver and more specifically heart or kidneys. Whatever the cause, usually a good idea to get a second follow-up test when you're away from the exercise or the offending culprit so that you're sure that you actually don't have this on an ongoing basis. So how to do that help you better understand what could be going on in people with high AST and normal ALT? Hopefully you did. If you do have follow-up questions, Feel free to drop those in the comment section. And also you should check out my other videos on elevated liver enzymes and some of the reasons behind that and some of the testing you can do to clarify what's going on. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.